Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So this is episode 2, I've decided to record it. I said, you know what, who am I kidding? I'm going to play it anyway and might as well record it and share it and you know, why not? So yeah, I just couldn't wait to get back to the game. So here we are and this is our little Incurion. Incurion uh, the Brave, I'm going to call him. I don't know if he's going to be brave throughout, we'll see. So what I wanted to do now is maybe see if I can... Oh, I can, I can recruit this headsman troops okay great and they are cavalry as well it seems wow this is this is cavalry right is that what it is i don't know i'm still you know trying to find you know the ins and outs of the game so i think what i'm going to do yes i am going to go ahead i think my next quest oh look we don't have food it seems so can we buy some grain of you yeah okay so i need to go into this layer over there and actually deal with these bandits there. Before we move on, let's see. What I like about this, look, when you uh, hover over these uh, items in your, uh, in your whatever it's called, baggage train, it shows you clearly if it's inferior or superior to what you're currently wearing. Very, very handy feature, I think. Very, very, uh, you know, saves the, a lot of time. Yeah, let's equip this, all right, there you go. So like, for example, look, these are the, uh, oh, this is actually better. Yes, this is better. Look, hand armor, right? The currently one, the current one is two and nine. This one is armor tier four and armor uh, arm armor thirty. So we're going to swap this. Yeah. So this is very good, hel helpful uh, feature they introduced. Like for example, you see this leather boots. There's no point me uh, point me changing them because they're actually inferior to what I'm wearing. They're all in red. So this is very very handy. Let's see. How about what do we have here? broadsword okay maybe i should do this oh no it's actually the only thing is it's cut it's a uh, superior in cut oh club club might be handy in in case i wanted to actually gain some uh prisoners if it works the same way blunt damage you know like in a uh, warband and all that okay great so the quest i've had was find the hideout of radagos gang and defeat them okay so that's what we're going to try and do there's 13 of us i think that's the place now okay oh but it's now getting darker no 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 we're not going to go there why don't we go to another village there and oh actually yes there you go thank you for letting me know how to do it i wasn't sure how to rotate the camera apparently you right click and then you rotate and someone on uh you know on a tail walls forum was kind enough to point this out to me and thanks for that i yeah, I do wish that it's kind of was a bit easier, simpler as it is in a warband when you just, I think, mouse goes to the sides, it actually rotates, but it's not the case here. But you know what, whatever. It is what it is. Let's see. I don't want to go to the uh, hideout. Oh, it's morning already. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. Yeah, I just wanted it to be a little bit brighter. There you go. I think it's almost daytime now. So what we're going to do, we're going to attack it. And see what's going to happen here if I can oh there it is it's just down the bottom here all right yeah let's attack it this is one of the things we have to do see how that works right the famous hideouts all right so here we are okay oh you fellas are actually oh is that my brother as well yeah he's got a nice nice club there and I don't have a shield that is a problem well let's me let me just use my bow for now okay follow me everyone let's go let's see where are these buggers? It seems similar to the traditional warband uh, kind of hideout areas, from what I can tell. Where are all these guys? By the way, anyone knows how to bring ba uh, bring up the interface? You know when you used to push backspace and it would bring the mini map so you could see wh what's going on? I don't know how to do it yet. If you guys do know, please do let me know. Uh, just attack. Hopefully my guys are, are you know aware of whereabouts of these ba bandits and they'll be able to actually deal with them for me because I don't even know where I'm going to be honest with you all right yes so apparently uh, the game topped the sales it's it's like now the most popular game of to, of 2020 so far in terms of sales so yesterday I think there were about 180 or over 180,000 players online simultaneously so which is amazing what it does is actually proves the point that games like this you know games that are historically not not based on based on history per se but they're not based on anything outwardly right they're kind of based on reality more or less real world real dynamics 
like games like this, games like Kingdom Come Deliverance, they can, they can be popular, they can sell, right? They can make money, so you don't have to always have the dragons and all the rest of that. Oh, what's that? Headsman's Troop. Okay, wow, look at that male scale. I want that. Yes, please, kind sir, can we share? Now, who is that comes through my place of business, killing my employees? <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. Uh, I'll need a better description than that. Yeah, he's a... Uh, yeah, I was just asking about the brother and sister. My men have harvested dozens of little brats in this region. Quite good hunting grounds. Already sent most of them south, slate markets. Oh, the bastard. And he wants a duel. No, I'm not going to duel. You look at you with a helmet and a, a chain mail. No way. Yeah, I don't duel slavers. Man, let's get, get them. Get them, boys. Oh, 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 wow. Okay, they're gonna make short work of me. You know, I don't even have shield or anything like that. Look at that. I lost half my health. Yeah, battle won. Yes, so there we are. We are the attackers here. We didn't lose anyone. One is wounded. This is nice, helpful screen as well. So yeah, what I was saying, what I was saying, yeah, games like this, you know, uh, low uh, kind of fantasy, if you can call it a fantasy, they, they do sell, they are popular. Well, I recognize the feat when I see it. I'm going to be your captive. Let me introduce myself. I'm Radagos, okay? You haven't cut my throat yet, which was a wise move. I'm sure I can find a way to be worth more to you alive than dead. Okay, so I'm looking for my brother and sister. Oh, you'll need my help, all right, if you want to get them back alive, that is. See, my boys have some pretty specific instructions about what to do if there is rescue attempt. Ah, oh, the bastard. I like how he's holding his, uh, you know, stomach here, the side of it, as it probably injured. Shall we get on the road? Remember, if I drop dead of exhaustion, da-da-da-da-da, uh, drown in some river, <laughs> that is for your little, uh, that's it for your little dears. I don't expect a cozy uh, palanguin now, but you'd best not make it too hard a trip for me. Okay, uh, what I would want to do is strip you actually of all that gear that you were carrying, but apparently I don't have the option. I don't even have a loot for some reason. Okay, oh, what's happening? Nathanos, I was hoping to find more treasure here. Yeah, so was I. But I think business wasn't going too well for Radagos and his gang. Okay. I found this strange looking metal piece though. It doesn't look too valuable, but it could be the artifact uh, Taktios was talking about. Maybe we can sell it to one of the noble clans for a hefty price. Okay. I have a better idea. We would have a better chance if we split up now. Okay. I'll take Ragados and go find the slaver market and look for a way to free the children. However, we must be careful not to endanger, the, endanger their lives, and I could be better in it could be better to just buy them. We need to have our purses full for that though. Okay. Uh, I'll need to take this man with us. Ragados is a slippery one. I don't want him getting away. Okay, so you want me to raise the money to ransom the little ones? Indeed, you'll have to find a way to do it. Maybe this bronze thing can help. Oh gosh, okay, so we're splitting now. One more thing, when you're talking to nobles and other people of importance, make sure you present yourself as someone from a distant but distinguished family. Okay, oh, now I need to... You can use your, our family name if you like or make up your uh, a new one. You will have a better chance of obtaining an audience with nobles and it'll be easier for me to find you by asking around. Okay, but what is our family name? Let me just, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna call us this, Natanosis, okay? Because <laughs> that way I remember your name in case you show up in one of the logs or whatever, or later on you show up so I know who you are. Okay, right, so that's us. All right, so he's, he's the, oh wow, the banner now. Wow, look at these banners. Oh, this is like traditional, isn't it? Traditional uh, war band, uh, this as well. And there is some more variety. This one is, I think, is yeah. This one as well is the old one. The bear, yeah. <laughs> Norse bear. I think, I think, I think it's Norse. I don't remember. This is Swadia, was it? Um, good old times, right? Oh gosh. But there is more choice here. There's a trebuchet. Uh, yeah, there is much more choice here. What shall I do? It's too much. Well, I'm joking, of course. But yeah, it is quite considerable compared to the, I think, war band. It is a bit more in terms of options here. Uh, some Celtic designs here as well. How about fish? No, I don't want to bore our fish. Uh, what is that? Oh, the lion. Okay, so shall we just go with the lion, shall we? Okay, let's do that. Ah, there you go. Look at that. 
lion could be white, but this could could be actually yeah. Uh, I wanted actually uh, red on black, you know, uh, Targaryen kind of banner, but I don't think I can do it. Well, scale. Oh, we can scale it a bit as well. All right. So larger lion. Voila. All right. Fine. Yeah, that works. Get on the road now. Once I locate the little ones, I'll come find you. Okay, Nathanos, I'll see you later, uh, bro. See you later, brother. Now, notification. New quest. Oh, okay, that was quick. Uh, tutorial is over. Ah, okay, you're now free to explore Calradia. All right. And I'm on my own. Ah, yeah, he took all the men, didn't he? Where is my e inventory? There you go. And he took all the loot. Great. Okay, and he took the arm guard as well, the bugger, and the club. Why? <laughs> oh, damn, I'm left with nothing. Well, I have money, okay. All right, thousand, that's that's okay, I guess. Right, so what, what do we need to do? Rebuild your clan. Calradia is a land full of peril, blah, blah, blah. Opportunities to face the challenges that await you'll need to build your own clan. So it's like a band, war band, right? Is that what it is? Your brother told you there are many ways to go about this and that none forego coin. Trade would be one means to, do, to this end. Fighting and selling of captive bandits in town and other. Whatever path you choose to pursue, traveling alone would make you an easy picking. Okay, so I need to recruit a few men. You know that you recruit men to follow you from the notables of villages and towns. Though they may ask you for a favor or two of their own before they allow you access to their more valued fighters. Okay, naturally you may also want unique characters in the taverns. Ah, okay, companions. However, this tend to favor more established clans. Okay, so what I need to do, increase your dinars by a thousand. So I need to get 2,000 dinars. I needed 20 men in my party to reach the goal uh, to uh, complete this quest. I need to reach clan tier one, renown 50 I need, and hire one, or one companion. Okay, all right, okay. So let's do that first. And then there was another quest, wasn't there? Was that? As you explore Calradia, you can learn more about your artifacts and it's important by asking any lord or lady about the empire's recent history. Okay, so I need to talk to 10 of them as well. All right, that's fine. Okay, let's go. Let's go and see. Ah, oh, we need to leave. Yeah, they, unfortunately, you, you have to go through this extra click every time. I'm not, not sure what the design decision behind. Uh, but you have to have, you can't just click away. Oh, looters. Yes, please. Let me see if I can recruit more men though. Oh yes, I can. Oh, these are imperial rec uh, recruits. Uh, they seem to be footmen. Yeah, my brother took all the cavalry, man. Yeah, that is not very good, is it? So, yeah, th you see this extra click you have to do all the time. You can't just click on looters and off you go like you could in a warband. Maybe they'll fix it in the future. I imagine if you put thousands of hours into it, it might become a bit of a nuisance for the, you know, veterans and for hardcore uh, players. Aye, what have we have? Uh, what have we here? Yeah, the harvesting season. There are attacks for passengers. Okay, yeah, we'll fight you, the bastards. They look quite good, detailed. Oh, what happened? Ah, okay, another click. All right, yeah, okay. Let's move on. Let's deal with this. These guys will be on foot one day. Let me see. Where are my guys? Only two of you fellas, and you don't have a shield either. Uh, okay, I was hoping, you know. But yeah, my brother took... But they have expensive spot as look, the swords, quite long, which is quite an expensive weapon. I would expect the levies to have a basic stuff, you know, with some pointy, uh, sharp end on one side. And uh, maybe some uh, cheap shield. This is like traditionally what the levies were uh, uh, armed with. They did not really have access to expensive swords, right? Sword is a weapon of more refined warrior class, right? You won't necessarily have it, the luxury of owning one. Oh, they're targeting me now. Oh, damn. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Charge, everyone. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But it's the looters, right? We should be able to deal with them. I do hope. I'm not sure. I'm not a really good of a horse archer, though, mind you. I do... I can do some damage, though, it seems. Oh, though... How did I miss that? How did I miss that? That was like... Oh man, my 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 guys are dying. They dying. They they killed all of my men. They killed both of my men. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, did they did they die? Did they? Yes, they died. Oh god. All right. Well, 
and Kurion's party is now back to one. But I have some loot here, cheese and grain, that will serve me well. well. Okay, oh, and there is some hoodie, is that a hoodie? Yeah, I will definitely use this. Pilgrim, what is that? Hood. Okay, this is still inferior to what I currently have, it's all red. Very nice and easy way to distinguish, really well done there. Okay, uh, quality of life improvement there. Okay, let's see, can I recruit more? No. Okay, so we need to head out of here. Where is the closest town? Oh, Porus, there you go. There is a town and it's called Porus, it seems. Let, let me see if I can get there. Oh yeah, there's another village here. Maybe I can hire some more men. Yeah, the map looks gorgeous. I just wish that maybe rotation was a little bit more straightforward without the right click. But you know, I'm not complaining. It's all good. It is doable. It's maybe just a matter of habit, you know, as well. I'm not used to that yet, but we shall see. Right, let's see what we got in this town. It is a town, isn't it? Go to the keep. What? S oh, no, keep is for nobility now. I don't want the, you know, to go. Oh, there are no troops here. Right, let's wait here for some time. My health is 80 over here, 82 now. Let's just wait maybe for a little while uh, until I'm better rested. Maybe recover a little bit. Battle ready troops. So I do have two, right? Okay. I don't know what's going on. I thought I lost them. All right, let's see. Recruit troops. Okay, these are some of the recruits I can have. If I go to the tavern district, visit the tavern. Let's see what's there. I need to hire a companion as well as part of my adventures here. Right, who is this? Townsman. Okay, just chit-chatting. And who is that? Another, another guy is listening to the music. Yeah, I like how people are interacting. Like, quite interesting, right? It would be nice if they could add thug, okay, right? No, I don't want to kick you, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, do you need for fighters, sir? Me and nine of my mates looking for a master. You might call us mercenaries, like, we'll join you for 300. The you're a thug, what can you do for me? Like, what kind of weapons do you even have? So he's, oh, he's got a club. Do you have a shield? No, not really. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be bothering this time. Maybe later on. Let's see if there's any companions here. Those guys are supposed to be pricey. Uh, they always are in the warband as well. So let's see if we can find some. And maybe this could be one of our objectives. Fulfilled. No one here. Hello. Where? Oh, they're moving around as well. This is nice. This is really good improvement here. No, there's nothing here. I don't want tags. I don't know what to do with them. I mean, are they battle, you know, ready? Is this door openable? No. No. Okay. All right, let's leave this. So I've recovered my health, which is good. And go to the town center. Trade, yes, let's deal with all of that. Let's just sell all of these things. Maybe I'll buy a bit more food. Food is butter, grapes. What is the price? Is it 19 coin, right? Grain, I already have grain. I need perhaps, how much is this? 36, oh, expensive, isn't it? Okay, let's get... Let's get some butter. Oh, they arranged, I think, in order. No, this is, well, I thought they were arranged in order of expense. Okay, let's get some butter. All right, that's great. 96%. I'm almost, almost recovered now as well, which is good. All right, let's see. What else can we do here? Recruit troops, still none. Uh, okay, where's my party screen? Oh, yeah, I do have four of them. Yeah, oh, my. I forgot that I've, ha I've had those guys. Okay, leave. So, next character. Oh, upgrade. Okay. One-handed bow uh, riding. Can I upgrade this? Uh, okay, let's upgrade riding. Ability to control the ho a horse. I do like how it works. It does work much more fluid, much more, uh, you know, realistic and natural, I think, than in Warband. Warband is more kind of, yeah, you could say it's easier easier to control, but that's what makes it a bit more of a, in my opinion, more of a rigid option, in, in a bit more of a... Oh, there is this guy. I should have asked him. Where, where did he go? Where did he go? Ah, uh, he disappeared now. Yeah, there was a guy with a question... Uh, no, with exclamation mark over his head. And I was wondering what was that. That was, I think, they indicated that he might have a quest or whatever. So yeah, the controls are perhaps less, you have less control right off the bat, but this is, I think, what makes it 
more fluid for me. It's not as boxed in, as rigid, the controls, like when you're riding a horse, for example. You know, it feels like there is a room for... Oh, 14 looters. There's nothing here. All right. And yeah, I need to start chatting to those nobles, don't I? Can we take on 14? I'm not sure. Can we? Let's try. Let's try. Are they? Are they? They're running away. They're running away. Oh, no, they're not. Okay. So, yeah. Feel me. Oh, feel me. Fight me if you dare. So, the control feels much more, in my opinion, um, you know, you need to adapt to it. Obviously, it's not going to be exactly the same as in Warband. It is a new game after all. And it's a good thing, I think. You want to learn. You want to feel some of a difference. You want to have new impressions, right? You want to have new experience. You don't want to be exactly copy-paste. So I do really enjoy it. And I do think the horses' movements, the riding, the combat movements, it's all not as, you know, rigid, not as easily controllable, perhaps, but also more fluid, in my opinion, than the Warband which is a plus in my books. Let's see, all right. Guys, I think you need to start charging, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Uh, these guys are quite weak, aren't they? They don't have a shield or anything like that. Oh, damn. Oh, they all dead now. What the heck? How did that happen? What? You killed all of my uh, recruits who had these nice swords on them and all of that and you buggers what do you even have you're throwing stones right and now i'm forced to kind of ride around like a muppet <laughs> trying to kill you because as soon as i move in they will probably be dealt with you know in short order as well i don't have a shield i don't have any armor i wear a hoodie i wear god knows some tunic etc etc so i don't think i'll be doing too well here and i only have three arrows left and that it has not looked very good it does not look good at all, in fact. And how many of them still here? Well, about, you know what? I'm going to run for the hill. Uh, is there a way? And look, my horse is quite slow as well. Right. And I also like, you know, when you turn the camera like that, so he turns his head in that direction, which looks really, really good. And he looks like, you know, someone out of the Assassin's Creed now, this guy, uh, my character. Oh, yeah, can we leave? Oh, thank God. Thank God we can leave now. Uh, they almost smashed me, these buggers, didn't they? I hope I won't have to surrender now. I hope I'll just be able to leave the area altogether. Let's see. And they kill all of my men. Ah, and this is the, the, the looters, the basic looters, right? How embarrassing is that? So what am I to do? Surrender? Ah, damn it. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to try again. And I have my arrows refilled, hopefully. Damn, so it is, yeah, it is not as easy as I was expecting it to be. With the, oh, damn, and look at that, what I've done. Just came too close, way too close. And the terrain here is not particularly favorable for horse riding either. There you go. Headshot, was it? No? Maybe not. Let's just let them come to me. No. Okay, can I, can I choose a nice level plane on which I can ride? Yes, over here. Yeah, now come here, you. Where are you? Oh, there they come. Okay. <laughs> All right. I wasn't. That wasn't too long. They just came in straight there, because my horse, I think, damn, is quiet and uh, slow. It's a basic level horse, you know. Not easy to control, perhaps. Not very fast. Doesn't have a lot of uh, hit points. But it's a horse, nevertheless, right? It's better than no horse. If I had no horse, I'd be dead by now absolutely sure of that there you go one more gone and you know it takes more than one arrow to kill these guys you know they have no armor it's probably because my proficiency uh, bow proficiency is quite low and arrows are probably you know rubbish as well as well as the uh, bow itself probably basic hunting bow or whatever it is i suppose man i don't want to die here i don't want to really can I go? Can I? Can I just? No, this guy's got like. Oh no, no, no! no. He's got a stuff there. That's gonna. Yeah, that's gonna kill me. Right, come in. Ah no! And my uh, my sword isn't long enough either to actually do much damage. You know what? I'm out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm out. I can't do this. I can't. I'm a coward. Yeah, I'm not a, the brave. I'm actually the coward because realistically speaking, there is still how many of you? Seven of you there. Right? No, I'm not gonna make it. 
not on this horse, not with this gear, not with this level of proficiency. Can I actually leave this area here? Oh, yes, I can. Phew, okay. So why is there a countdown? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. Hopefully, if they reach this area, if they break through, is that it? And then I won't be able to retreat, it seems. I don't know. Right, let's... Ah, oh, cannot leave. Well, the last one, last one. I've killed one or two. Now, I still have... Oh, my health is... Uh, one third of it almost is gone. That's not good. So I do hope now I have 27 arrows that perhaps this is just about enough to finish them off in this round. Yeah, I am, as you can see, very, very poor a fighter and horse archer. And generally speaking, and they don't die. Yeah, they need several arrows into them. Uh, you know, strike them with, you need to strike them with several of them, it seems. Probably also depends where you hit them, right? I would imagine. But I thought, I thought I've seen some headshots before and they were still out and about. Still running. There you go. Uh, oh, okay, neck. And he's dead, is it? I think so. Good, good job. So, let's see. No, missed again. Missed again. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, another one gone. So maybe if I reduce them down to three or four, maybe I could then deal with them using my sword just i want to kill this guy with the hoodie you see he's got this stuff yeah this is very very dangerous for a uh, horse archer or for cavalry in general there you go he's gone the rest i can deal with their um, their weapons are uh, not as long and not the pole arms they can be deal with dealt with hopefully all right now i've got you know no other option but to close in and to see if I can deal with you buggers. Come on now. Wow. Oh boy. Oh man. That was embarrassing, wasn't it? But he's got quite a long... What is that? A sword or whatever. Yes. Well done you. Now you're going to rob me of my... Uh, I had a few soldiers there, didn't I? I think so. Uh -huh. Your enemies take you prisoner. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Just started the game. And did I lose some money as well? I don't know. Probably taking prison. Uh, there's other other uh, events take place here, right? Okay. Can I can I fast forward? No, not really. Cannot do much. Now I'm just stuck with these bastards. Only two of them. Two of them. How embarrassing is that? Honestly. Come on now. Can I escape, please? Ah... <sighs> And my health is 1%. Okay, continue. All right, so where am I? Where is my... You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go. And I'm, I'm still on a horseback, right? I, I think so. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to kill you. Or so I hope. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see if I can... Oh, damn, it's dark. It's dark as hell. My health is all gone. So a couple of stones and I'm basically done for. I think but I have 25 arrows hello there you go so hopefully that will make a difference I don't know we shall see uh, this guy is throwing chucking stones at me or oh, is it a sling he's got I can't really tell so that's there you go finally one is gone I want that actually that a weapon that he struck me with it was nice and long very very good reach and it looks, yeah, it looked quite decent. Looked like it's doing a lot of damage as well. So if I can have that, please, that would be really, really helpful. There you go. Fantastic. So I paid back. And hopefully I will gain some out of this. Some, let's see what I've got in terms of... Oh, yes, and I've say uh, rescued one of my guys. Okay, that's great. That is fantastic. Let's see. What? No, we don't have that. We have axe small axe let's get all the food first olives wine they have quite a few items of food right so this is all not very good for us okay so let's go done now i want to recruit more men and there's another town here Licaron. so i'm going to go there next hopefully oh forest bandits no 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 no, no. we don't want to deal with them those guys are a pain they were a pain in a war band they had not just you know rack tack weapons they also had bows and arrows they were not easy to deal with. They were not easy. Not for the beginner, anyway. They're not looters, so need to be mindful of that, hopefully. Right, let's go and trade. Let's see what we can sell here. 
So yeah, like I was saying, the games like this, you know, the games that are low fantasy, you can call it. I wouldn't call it fantasy at all, but whatever. They do show how popular this kind of re realistic or history-based games can be. Like, you know, you've got these things, Kingdom Come Deliverance as well. So, you know, you don't need to have the dragons. You know, dragons are fun. Oh, there's some men I can hire here as well. Dragons could be real fun. However, not everyone uh, likes the dragons, right? It doesn't have to be all about the dragons all the time. Right, do I need some? No, we don't need anything else. Right, so the health is low. I think what I'm going to do next is leave this place, check my quest log. So I still need to rebuild my clan, okay. Money, I actually lost. Oh, car current party size is good, so maybe we can... Man oh, and Renown, Renown, sorry, is getting there as well. I need to start talking to the nobles. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave this here for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe for more. And I know how to rotate the camera now, which is great. And I'm really, really looking forward to the mods. Really looking forward to what Britain Wall, the team, will come up with as well. I really enjoy Viking Conquest. In fact, I have a um, playthrough based on that. So uh, go and have a look. Check it out. And uh, yeah, let's see what's going to come up. Uh, what they're going to come up uh, in terms of DLC or whatever. It should be glorious. Alright, thanks again everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.